what I wanted to talk about today um, was one particular shot and using a drill to demonstrate it. Um, just so that for the purposes of instruction, the way I explain the different swings are I would call this a full swing without a preliminary. I would call this a full swing with a preliminary, which is the way you'll see most people hit their foul shots. Um, I would call this a half swing, which is really bringing it all the way back and still cocking your wrist and coming through. And then on the, on the shot that I wanted to, to tell you about today, um, I call it a scoop for lack of a better term. But what I'm doing is keeping my mallet face open, setting my wrist and my elbow and using my shoulder to swing through the ball. And the thing that the, the situations that I will use that in is mostly um, the final shot to goal. Um, sometimes you're doing it with as short a backswing as possible, either when people are hooking you so that you don't give them a chance to catch your mallet, or when the goal is close enough that you can just use the momentum of the horse. Um, and I think what we're doing by keeping the mallet face open and setting the angle of our wrist and the angle of our elbow is minimizing the margin of error. Because every time I bring a new angle into it, whether it be my shoulder, my elbow, my wrist, that um, has, to, has to combine smoothly at the bottom to have a, a straight shot. Um, and I guess the, the sport that I liken it to, or the swing in a different sport I liken it to, is a putt in golf. And I'm not a golfer, but I've been told that a putt has a short backswing and you follow through open. And um, so this is what I'm thinking about um, with this scoop. Now in the drill that you'll see us demonstrate right now, um, not every goal shot will be a swoop, a scoop, but the ones that I think are appropriate for it, I will, I'll show you the scoop. And the things that are happening here, and this is a great drill to, to do at home if you have a stick and ball field available, is to try to, um, I'm going to be cantering around and, and as I get near the backside of Pedro, he'll roll a ball out to me. My objective is to go with a little bit of um, pace to the ball. I'm not going to go super fast or I'll make him hot right away. And then before the ball, what I call is, is shape up, which to me just means like take the slack out of your reins. It's a little bit of a pause saying, okay, there's my target. Here's my ball. I'm going to shoot this in or out. And I think that there are times in a game when we cannot shape up because there's somebody chasing us and we just got to get it off any way we can. But there are other times when you watch the best players in the world and, and they almost always shape up and take that pause when they have the time. Um, what I'm doing with that pause is just a little bit of collection of the horse. And if I have time, I'm picking a target in the center of the goal. For the purposes of this drill, I've placed a ball in the center of the goal. And when I go to, to shoot, I'm not trying to hit the big area between the two goal posts. I'm trying to literally hit the ball that I've put in the center of the goal and that I treat as my target. Um, I guess with no further ado, I will try to demonstrate this drill. So basically, um, coming around quietly, um, on either lead and I'll pass close to Pedro and here my thought process is all right there's the ball a little acceleration target my ball in that wasn't in but that was the idea practice makes perfect come close target ball whoops off the foot. You know what I'm going to do is not accelerate. Maybe it'll stay quieter that way.
Remember, not too many cut shots. You've given me three already. Although anything else Do a couple straight long so I can try to demonstrate the scoop. So it's ball, center, and that's sort of the scoop. It's just um, using the horse's momentum of which there's too much right now. Try to show Robin. There's the ball. Wait a little longer for me. Let's react. So it's really not much to it, but putting your mallet behind the ball and I think about it like putting your mallet behind the ball and pushing. Let me try to show a next shot scoop without hitting him in the foot if I can do it. Here you get forward, and it's literally just finding the angle that you want the ball to go on. Mallet head behind the ball and follow through. And you can do this drill also with full swings. You know, target, ball, in. And you can make it more difficult or less difficult, you know. Throw me a ball pretty late so I have to react. Like you come by, you don't know where it's going. Where is it? There it is. Check. Warmed it in. But I find that the more that I can think about or glance at that target ball, the more accurate I am when I can hit it properly. That's a scoop, that's all it is. And I've been successful with teaching amateur players that are zero one goals and they use it very effectively. So I don't think it's something that only high goal players can do. kind of set it up for success and push. You know, if the ball skips over your mallet, there's not a whole lot we could do, but we'd probably miss it that with a full swing too. So, now that you've seen that drill, not every situation is, is right for a scoop, um, but some are, and uh, the times that I could set up inside of 30 yards and sort of have an in or out attitude, which I'm, by which I mean that I'm shooting at goal, it's, I'm not going to leave it at the field, it's either going to go through the post or over the back line. To me, that's um, setting myself up for success with that. You know, I can always miss hit the ball, I can miss the ball if it hops, I can get hooked. But I feel like nine times out of ten, I have less margin for error when I when I do do that scoop inside of 30 yards to score a goal 
doesn't really work with a cut shot so those were full swings and um, if I have a horse like this that's being a little rapid on me I'd probably rather hit my neck shot with a full swing to get way out but um, most of my horses would not be rapid and then you can do this with confidence. Um, I mean every situation is different, every player is different and you have to find through practice and training what works for you. But I think the object of the game is to score more goals than the other team so one of the places that I would encourage us all to focus on is finishing goals. Um, and uh, it's something we can all improve through drills like this. You can invent your own drills. And um, doing a little imagery before you, before you execute a drill or even before you practice is, is always a terrific thing and something that I've used as well. So I hope you enjoyed this session and can put it into practice and, and let it help you improve your games. Thank you.